pay raises, and the new tax bill. Next on your Labor Minutes. Hello, I'm Mark Harrison. With recent announcements by major corporations that workers are getting pay raises, many would think that the tax bill signed at the end of last year is working. But for whom? The president and Republican lawmakers are going around singing the praises of their legacy from last year as workers see a bit more money in their paychecks. But who is really about to see more money? With the economy at virtual unemployment at 4%, businesses would have had to raise wages to attract workers regardless of the recent corporate tax cuts, small as these may be. But for the most part, the corporation's attribution to the tax bill for these acts of wage-raising benevolence are being considered marketing stunts and basic sucking up to the president who is known to reward flattery. And on the whole, very few companies have given bonuses. Much of the attention to the wage bumps could be considered a deflection away from the fact that the Republican Congress has given the go-ahead to add $1.5 trillion to the federal deficit over the next 10 years. And because of that, most poor and middle-class families will end up paying more in taxes as time goes by. Indeed, it is the corporate elite that stand to gain the most from the new tax bill. For example, Walmart, which is touting its $700 million in wage hikes and bonuses, will now spend $4 billion buying back stock which will drive up the price of that stock, benefiting its investors and executives who receive much of their compensation in the form of stock options. I'm Mark Harrison with your Labor Minutes.